warmer in Brookings Harbor today. And also on Tuesday, where daytime highs could hit up near 70 degrees. And keep in mind the chance of precipitation Sunday, a rather brief event, I believe. Back to you, Matt. Well, Jeff, this is a little hard to say, but it is with overwhelming appreciation that we thank you for your last full weather forecast here at NBC5 News. Jeff Heaton, you've been with the station for nearly 30 years and you are about to step into a much deserved retirement. For three decades, you've provided our region with top notch forecasting on air and behind the scenes and a lot of laughs for all of us, myself included. We'd like to share with everyone a look back at your time here as a bid as we bid a fond farewell. Well, this one was a tight game. News Channel Weather. I'm a funny guy. Dead Indian, so does Springs. I'm meteorologist Jeff Heaton. Meteorologist Jeff Heaton. Horse is a horse, of course, of course. <laughs> and nobody talks to horse, of course. Unless a horse is a famous Mr. Ed. Nailed it. Why did you become a meteorologist? I really didn't make very smart decisions. Okay, now the real answer. I was a weather producer for a person on television. I would do the forecast and then instruct him on how to communicate it. And he told me you should try this TV thing and it worked out. It's a unique situation here in that uh, the weather is usually pleasant, but you need a meteorologist. And the reason is because the weather varies. Every 10 miles you drive around this part of the region. You need a meteorologist to try to figure out just what it's going to be doing for each different zone. But yet the weather, usually pretty nice. You got the best of both worlds here. What was great is Jeff Heaton came out to Malin Elementary uh, last spring and talked to the kids for over an hour. And Kathy Farnsworth came out and got a nice little story about him interacting with the kids out of Malin. Probably one of the best things that happened to Malin Elementary School that year. KLBI meteorologist Jeff Heaton has the pulse on weather conditions moving toward your town. Watch him. You can plan better and stay safe. This November, I'll be addressing your daily weather school lessons every evening here on KLBI NBC5. So enroll your class today. Hi, I'm Jeff Heaton. Join your home team each morning for Eyewitness News today at 6 a.m. If you're like me, you're always wondering, what should I wear today? That way, you'll know what to wear for the day or the night. I know, I'm brilliant. That's a really good one. <laughs> a few things I want to talk about. One, the beard. You should, you got to bring that back. It's too late now. No, no. <laughs> no. I can still grow it. Yeah, yeah. It's white retiring. though. It's and then I, li I like the sweater vest thing you had going on there. Three Very retro. Baby. Very yeah. retro. Very well, nice. it wasn't retro back then. Okay. I, we, I lived in retro. <laughs> you lived mind. in retro. Yes. <laughs> so almost 30 years. I, I have one question for you. I'm sure our viewers will have questions as well. They can check out our Facebook page, let you know all about those. But <laughs> what, what's what been the biggest change that you've seen over the last 30 years, just hanging out in news and doing weather as you have for so long? A ton of them. Yeah, uh, yeah I used to have weather observers, which I will thank forever on that. Uh, they used to call me in every day to give me weather uh, conditions for around the region. And now it's internet. Yeah. And then tons of automated sites. I get more data. I kind of miss the human interaction, but uh, it is nice for that. Uh, Facebook, all the other different sources yeah. of weather, running forecasts you have to keep monitoring, you know. Uh, that's just the beginning of it. I can't go through them all. Well, we, we do still <laughs> like hearing from people about the weather in their oh, area. Oh, no, though. I do. That's yeah, for we sure. do. We <laughs> absolutely do. Yeah, because it's a human thing. An automated station is. And not all that observant. <laughs> right, we have you one more time, but we're going to toss a break. You're watching NBC5 News at Sunrise. We're back in just a moment.